Let's go live to Caracas, Venezuela at this moment where the inauguration of the 66th edition of the Saloon Arturo Michelet is taking place. Let's listen. News that passed that was disaster. But I want to contextualize about the inauguration of this and and the genocide in human terms is something barbaric and cruel some figures indicate 120 million people dead due to the European invasion. The cruelest damage was not the human life sacrificed, but the culture that was sacrificed, societies that were exterminated, and their cultures and customs were erased from the face of the earth. That's what I was saying, because I didn't attend the march, but I called. And I was saying precisely because there in Spain, in Espejo, I also, Santiago Bascal and Joseph Borrell say that they brought civilization and we were the barbaric ones, that this existed here and they brought civilization to us. And thanks to that process of 300 years, we are civilized people. I say this is offensive, but I state that this was backwards. They were the barbaric and we had a beautiful civilization and human civilization here. Who were the barbaric ones? And that word, I've never heard it before. Did you make it up? It comes from a researcher from Argentina, Eugenio Raúl Zaffaroni, in, in human rights and colonialism, culturicidium. I take it from there. It summarizes uh, the fact of murdering culture and a damage crueler worse than murder is murdering culture, the culture built by those uh, human beings. Let's not allow culture to against uh, the Lebanese and Palestinian people and the peoples of the world. We can uh, be resilient and transcend because that person called Pablo Picasso when painted that Guernica play, that Guernica painting, watching the pain and the screams, the pictures of, of children murdered and destroyed, a whole population destroyed by the aircraft of Hitler today, Netanyahu's aircraft. Uh, he was able to transcend and when a new times arrived, times of peace, his work was great for peace. That's why, Mr. President, the imperial behavior uh, um, goes through the destruction of symbols and secret places, memorial places of the territory and the community. I haven't been able to understand. Luckily, in a week, we're going to Wanare to recover the um, painting, the the art that represents our Kaziki Garamoto. I don't understand how this violence act that Monday, July 29th, they uh, dragged um, through the streets of Guanare the statue of the great Garamoto Kaziki. 532 years later, they had. They were filled um, of something possessed by demons. Koromoto didn't hurt anybody, didn't hurt these people that came out to the, took the streets for political reasons. I didn't understand this. But what I understand is the power of plastic arts, the power of poetry, of uh, words of humanity to transcend this moment of ethical, spiritual, and cultural crisis that this Western world has.
Let them deal with their crisis. Here we, with our creati creativity and with your permission, uh, a podcast is going to be broadcasted soon. What happened with your program? A new program will be inaugurated, and we're moving to Museum Alejandro Tero, a beautiful museum located in La Riconada, because we are moving forward in the commitment of recovering entirely and, and put into working the whole system of museums of Venezuela. There we have the mayor, Carmen Melendez, Professor. Mary Pinjan and director of the museum, artist Frayn Rojas, are going to show us the advances of this process of recovering. Good afternoon, Commander in Chief. Greetings to the Carabobo State. We were live to Venezuela where the inauguration of the 66th edition of the Arturo Michelena Salon took place. During the event, President Nicolas Maduro condemned the massacre being suffered by the people of Palestine and Lebanon by the Zionist regime, a genocide only comparable with the fascism perpetrated by dictator Adolf Hitler.